going on guys? So, pretty stoked today. Good way to start off the week. Roni and I just got the rest of our stage wheels in. Um, we're heading over right now to Roberto's to get some tires for Roni's car and probably mine because I also have to dismount my old tires because one of my buddies just bought um, another set of wheels and tires for me. We are also currently bagging a 2016 M3. We're doing uh, airlift performance with 3H, so height sensors, digital management, all that. Uh, it's been a pretty long process as you can see, but it's definitely getting there. We're in the process right now of um, installing all the new air struts and then routing the lines and then tomorrow we're gonna finish up the electrical stuff, so the harness, vacuum lines, all that stuff. And should be done by Wednesday. We usually with stuff like this don't like to rush, especially on like the newer nice cars. As you can see, it's it's a pretty te tedious process. So you have in this case the bag right here, and then a brand new airlift shut that's going to go up top. Um, luckily, the battery's in the trunk, so that makes it a little bit easier with routing the management because with 3H, I almost died. You have height sensors, so each sensor individually plugs into the management harness. So you gotta run two sensors all the way from the front to the back of the car, of course, into the management. But it's pretty straightforward. I mean, this is what we, this is one of our specialties, which is air ride installs. So I'm pretty stoked. This guy's got a really nice setup, dual compressor setup, brand new polished tank, um, and yeah, everything's new. So let's go get some tires. All right, so Roni is opting for a 265 35 in the rear, nice and meaty and then a 225.40 in the front. Um, I eventually, with once the motor's like broken in and I'm gonna be making the power, I think I will, I'm gonna eventually jump up to like a 275, but for right now I'm just gonna do a 255.35 in the rear and a 225 in the front. We got to the tire shop and of course I jinxed it. There was literally, oh my God, my hair, what is going on? Um, not a single person was here, right? And within five minutes of putting these damn tires on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen cars just pulled up and it just turned into mayhem. And luckily, Chris, who always takes care of us, well, everybody does, um, they basically just said, come back, we'll take care of you guys so you're not rushing. And we managed to get two rears on for Roni's car. Um, we gotta come back later, obviously, so. I don't know what just happened. It's not even like it's five o'clock yet or anything, but it got really hot out, really humid, and really stuffed, so. We all decided to go back to the shop, put on what we have now, and then just kinda go from there, so. Oh, also, hey, come here real quick. Don't get too close on what you're doing, but. Okay. What'd you just buy? Did you buy something? Something. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not RB powered, but it's just as cool. You'll see it soon enough. Uh, it's next day. As you can tell, I went and got a haircut. Um, so, what I figured out, which is cool, is that there is a nice opening here through the side skirt, and we can easily run our airline through there and not have to worry about going under the car, in the car. This, ow, this literally just feeds through the skirt. We'll go all the way up top in the front, feed to the line. And then the nice thing is too as well is once we run the height sensors, that'll feed through here as well. And all this is gonna be flush up here because there's a, a massive fender liner that actually bolts up. So the line's gonna sit just nice and flush right there. Well, in this case, probably with the rest of the harness. Hop through the back, and yeah. Okay, so we are right now, for like the third time, calibrating the height sensors. So there's basically a dial where the sensor sits, and what it does is, right now it's giving me the range of where the sensor is basically in the middle, so right now the closest I can get it is 58 out of the, let's say 100. So right now you can see the range is in the okay range, and that's, that's good, that's where we want it at. The rest you can see that the sensor's a little too low from where it needs to be evenly, so now I gotta go on the other side, do the same thing again, put the wheels back on, let it calibrate, and hopefully that's it.
So, this is what we were talking about yesterday that uh, Andis went and got from a pretty, I guess you could say famous YouTuber. Um, how did you even get a con, like, how, how did this even work out? So, one of my buddies has his, uh, I guess it's like, I think it was his brother or cousin or somebody on, on uh, Instagram. And they had the car up for sale uh, as like a post on, on the story. So he sent it to me and then I'm like, send it. <laughs> so you want to give a quick rundown to the viewers here what you got? Um, so it's a LS3 Swamp E36 Coupe, um, 391 gear ratio, welded diff, it's got a T56 Trans, tuned to make round 380. Okay. ASD handbrake. Um, what else did he have on here? I still don't even know everything that's on here yet. Got a four point gauge. Sparco steering wheels, uh, steering wheel seats, uh, Sparco seat brackets. This thing's legit. Wow, that sounds like some good old American muscle. Thump thump. You know, by all means, man. <laughs> Going around the bank. We're just talking about maybe taking it for a quick ride, just to, so you can get the feel. Oh yeah, of it. no, 100. We can definitely do that. Check it out. What is this? <laughs> oh! Oh! Wow! Look at that. Look at that. Well, the 180 is here. Dave, how's the drive? Long. Long. So we just unloaded this 180 SX. For those who don't know, we've been working with uh, Tsunami Imports for the last year now. Dave's a good friend of ours. We've been importing cars. This just came off the boat two days ago. Uh, it's a nine, what did it get? It's a 91. 91? 180 SX. Well, we spent yesterday, honestly, about two, three hours under in the car, whatever, and just really kind of went through it. And this isn't for like the sake of the video or if a car is going to be sold. I mean, this thing's like, it's mint. With the exception of literally the guy that you know sold us the car from Japan doing the front D-Max fenders and the D-Max bumper, it's OEM body, clean, clean title. It, it's the engine bay is absolutely spotless. Another thing we figured out was it's got a brand new coil pack harness, brand new coil packs, injector harness, all the vacuum lines, brand new battery. It was thoroughly gone through, like big time and well taken care of. I mean, it's got D-Max wing, D-Max window visor, D-Max rear bumper, um, Blitz intercooler kit, full Kakimoto exhaust, T and coilovers, upper and lower control arms, um, obviously the clear lens headlights, the corner lights work. I mean, it's like a fully, fully functioning car that sounds good, runs great. And I mean, once we decide what color we're gonna repaint it, I mean, this thing's obviously gonna be extremely clean, valuable, and worth every bit. And I mean, you can like... Look, for the record, you guys, the car's gonna be available. You can pick it up as is, or we can paint it. I mean, it's as simple as that. Obviously, if we paint it, it's gonna be a little bit more. If we don't paint it, you can pick it up as is. You guys know how to get a hold of us. You can get a hold of me or my son, Sturge. As you guys can see, everything works in the car, right down to the AC. For some crazy reason, the radio was taken out. We'll put a radio in it if we have to. Um, everything shifts good, everything shifts smooth. The car, I mean, just even with these suspension parts, I mean, the car is like, it's great, man. It handles so nicely. I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, man. Whoever gets this car is, is gonna have a, a beautiful platform to, to build on because the car is all there. Underneath, it's 100% solid. And it runs great, it runs great. Okay, so we are gonna head out. Uh, I gotta pick up some airline to finish this up. And then tomorrow, which we'll probably wait to make another video, we are gonna work on the 240. Uh, gonna put the wheels on, adjust the coilovers, the camber arms, really start getting to work on this thing and also tweak Roni suspension a little bit. So yeah, gonna go finish up this BMW and we'll see you guys again. And as always, thank you and make sure to like, share, and subscribe. All right, so. 
gonna let everybody in on a little secret. A few weeks ago, we went out and I picked up another GTR. And I brought the GTR here and the guy that I bought it from was really cool because he kind of went along with me for the whole thing. So we brought the GTR to the shop. So we told my son that we're gonna be working on it. We're gonna be doing some suspension work and stuff like that. So he thinks this is a customer car when he doesn't realize it's gonna be another shop car. So we picked up this GTR and now for the last several weeks, I've been trying to figure out how am I gonna get him or how am I gonna introduce this car to kind of see, because I'm running out of options. Now he keeps asking me, well, why aren't, the, you know, why aren't the coilovers here yet? Or why isn't this here yet? So I've got no parts because it's really not a customer car, like I said. So we brought over the title today and we're gonna try to see if we can trick him. We're gonna tell him to go in there and get some paperwork to see if he can figure it out. Because the truck, I mean, the car's already signed over to us. So let's go see if this works out. I think it'll be cool because he's gonna be shocked. You know, we'll see what happens. Pretending, pretending that I'm talking on the phone here right now, so I can get Sturge to go in there and check out the, the paperwork. Yep. In the back. Hey. Are you doing this? Oh, you're still doing this. Can you can you go in his car underneath the passenger seat? Yeah. He said he's got some papers. Can we grab them? Yeah. Motherfucker.